Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is RK Gold. I'm an author and business consultant down in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, today I'm looking at Endgame by Gone. I first found Gone in the YouTube Cypher Volume 2. I know he had the opening verse. I'm excited to dive into his song Endgame today. So let's dive into this. <clears throat> Come here, this shit, or, or this shit's not gonna end, my nigga. Or this shit's not gonna end. Bet you it's Dax's grave. Apologize, bro. Bet you. Apologize, bro. Oh, you know, oh, you know what's going on. Apologize, my nigga. Oh, just apologize, shit. nigga. I got you, bro. Apologize, nigga. I got you, man. Say my, sorry, nigga. My bad for Say sad. sorry, Jeez. nigga. Sorry, All right, bet. Oh, my. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. I was quiet. I've been patiently waiting, waiting for war. Another sleeping dragon awakens my fire. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. I gotta mute this before I play it. Nope, not that, not that, not that. Come on, get... He has the gauntlet. He has Iron Man's gauntlet with the Infinity Stones. So he's looking to snap Dax Nose out of existence. Dragon awakens my fire breathing. Of course, the cipher was just a one. He comments on the cipher, which means I have to bring this up. Totally different style right here. When he's in the cipher, he's in on this porch in front of this beautiful uh, open field with a r huge rainbow in the background. And right now, he's in front of a what looks like. A dilapidated building with uh, broken windows, uh, overgrown hedges. Um, very different aesthetic for Gone in this video. Hey, he's uh, he's not holding back. He is making it quite clear that uh, if you come for him, it's not just rapping. He is going to shoot through the screen and get you, and um, he's going to snap you out of existence. So he's going to beat you in his own game. In uh, he's going to beat you at your own game, and he's going to beat you at his game. To the more Dexos is dropping the stones. Iron Man grabbed him, of course. I cut a cash in your throat. Let all the bloody is pour. I need a janitor, Dex. I need a janitor, Dax. Come on. The mop in the floor. Bitch. And like, damn, you suck. I'll end your whole career like fucking Andrew Luck. <laughs> okay, he he has some good punchlines in here. Uh, pr pretty much every other line right now is a solid punchline. I'm curious. Does he have the lyrics on here? Okay, yeah, let's do this. Um, we got war and scorched. So. Waiting awakens. Uh, he, this, uh, more dome, morgue, stone. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of uh, rhymes to scorch right here and near rhymes to scorch. Uh, more, poor, floor. The entire first verse right here before, it, and like, damn, you suck. So I ended this after Andrew Luck. So just to keep, uh, damn, you suck, Andrew Luck. So the first verse we got. Waiting, war, awaken, scorch, shot, more, dome, morgue, stones, coarse, throat, poor, janitor, floor. So he, um, he's been using, he uses, he sticks to one rhyme, and what he does is he has a setup and a rhyme, and I like that because it's really beneficial for someone who's trying to build, um, momentum on punchlines to have, like, in this, in this, uh, scheme it's going to be an a b a c a d a e and that's that's the rhyme scheme everything that every line that ends with a rhymes with the lines that end with a well in this case obviously it's it's um war like that sound but uh, you just assign it a letter and that's how you can keep track of the rhymes that you're doing so he's that um scorch is a so he has the a that has the scorch sound and then he has a b which is a completely different sounding syllable then he has the same sound again and a completely different one that doesn't rhyme with anything. And that, that the line that doesn't rhyme with anything is his setup, and then he delivers the punchline with the rhyme. So it doesn't only have the punch of a rhyme that draws you back to the scheme and the writing, but it also has a, a, a unique punch that uh, connects to the previous line. And I like it because it gives a rapper freedom to make a punchline about anything. It's really difficult to build punchlines off of rhymes because obviously your vocabulary is limited to what rhymes. Um, but since he's using a, a punchline to build off of a line that doesn't necessarily rhyme with the A, 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 uh, he can free himself up to make a punchline about anything. So let's, let's dive back into this. Have you had enough mumble rapping little Daniel Punk capping like you was the man so tough with the straps and the guns acting like he wasn't really born in Canada thought you make maple syrup bitches had some manners guess it's time to cancel ya yeah. okay not bad your ex-girl did when she showed harder than one line later girl that you ain't had no stamina you the basketball 
ball equivalent of an image. Get drafted if you couldn't pick that one up. Oh, never blow, never gonna go pro like a camera. I go crazy, rabies, John Wayne Gacy, get him in a scope that I hit him like Reagan, trigger pick a pulling on slinger like Aikman. He can really elevate levels of violence quickly. I paused this on gunshots, and all of a sudden we got John Wayne Gacy, Reagan with two guns out, and two bullet holes through the camera. So, wow. Claiming you the greatest alive when you ain't even top five on YouTube. Boo hoo, go run and cry. Cause this one's for the guys. Crip chase, Dwayne screw and I. The rap revenge is killing you every time. Bring that back to Daxnos. Um. Ja Rabies, John Wayne Gacy. Ra I have to say, he does have. And Ga Gone has incredible flow. He's able to make anything. So and obviously, these lyrics are good, but he's able to make anything just sound appealing. Um. And I like that he brought the Avengers back into this. But Dax, in this case, Dax just did it to himself. I mean, who names himself after a villain that loses? Now it's just you and I. Remember me, Tony Stark. I'm willing to suicide for you to die. Murder has been in my mind. Floating the clip in the nine. I said it how many times? Spo spo is it is it too late for a spoiler? Is it too late for a spoiler? What if some? I mean, I know Shady McCoy spoiled uh, Tony Stark's fate, but. What's too long to wait for spoilers? <laughs> I'm sorry I keep pausing this, but my computer, as you can see, is being really annoying. Why am I getting all these notifications now when I'm trying to do a video, but no one wants to talk to me when I'm doing nothing? It's story time, cause Dax was exploiting health conditions, it left me mortified. The boy who cried, Wolf Dax, is faking an illness to make money, thinking he's justified. So let's take it back to them high school days. There was a kid living in a hospital bedroom. Guess who? Yeah, that kid. It was me. I couldn't sleep. Couldn't. Yeah, okay, I hate. Now I'm getting notifications on my phone. People, stop talking to me. Um. So now we're getting into the backstory for him, which I like to. Um, I like it when we can add on to a disc that's not just going after them nonstop, but does add an extra layer to it. So I like, I, I feel like this is going into a, a comparison route. There were times I couldn't breathe. Doctor said brain damage in a coma for a week. If I died, you would probably capitalize on me like that freaking time you stole that motherfucking verse from Lil Peep. So I... <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that uh, he, he brought that back up. Um, and for those of you who don't know, Dax did s steal from Lil Peep after he died. Um, which I think should end any rap feud right there. I mean, how do you come back from that? That was, that was a good ending line. Because um, <laughs> um, I remember what she was just trending for, uh, how little she made. Um, <laughs> um, let's see how much, I, there's two, uh, so like a couple seconds left. Let's just let this go out. Okay. Um, all in all, it was a good diss. It was, I liked it. It was good to listen to. Some good punchlines in there, good flow. Not much to really complain about. Um, I guess final rating, I mean, if I set the standard for an 8 yesterday, I, I can't quite put it there. I, I think I'd give this a 7.5 or a 7 out of 10. Okay, so that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, come back soon. I'll have reactions to... I, I'm thinking I'm going to do Moxus and Crypt next uh, for the next two. Uh, probably gonna get into some Godeka. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave a comment on who you think I should be reacting to next, and I hope to uh, see you soon.